Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows an ovarian mass in a patient aged about 70 years. And this patient has had a hysterectomy done about 25 years ago. That is at the age of 45 years she had hysterectomy. The patient is aged about 70 years and now she has developed an ovarian mass. The ovaries are the sex organs that produce female hormones and store and release eggs between puberty and menopause. An ovarian mass may be a cyst or a tumor growth which may be non-cancerous, benign or cancerous that develops in one or both of the ovaries. A pelvic mass may represent either benign or malignant conditions. Symptoms of ovarian cyst mass or tumor may include pelvic pain, nausea and vomiting. Germ cell tumors of 20 to 25 percent of all tumors benign as well as malignant of the ovaries. Approximately 3 percent are malignant. Ovarian cancer is difficult to detect in early stages because there is a screening test for it. Also, the symptoms are common for a number of non-cancerous conditions. You can see the liver and the gallbladder and acetic fluid is seen in the upper abdominal cavity along the hilum of the liver. Fluid is also seen in the lower abdominal cavity. And this is the liver. The fluid is seen in the Morrison's pouch also. Now the symptoms of ovarian cancer are abdominal pain or bloating, constipation, increased urination, back pain, fatigue, heartburn, feeling full quickly. Now you can see the right kidney shows mild hydronephrosis with minimum hydroureter due to the compression caused by the ovarian mass, right ovarian mass. There is no ureteric stone. Ovarian tumors that are frequently are frequently associated with calcification include serous epithelial tumors, fibro fibrothecoma, mature or um, immature teratoma, and Brainerd tumor. When bilateral compress, complex ovarian masses are seen, metastatic ovarian tumors and the serous epithelial tumors of the ovary should be considered. Now you can see the right ovarian mass. In this case, there is no calcification seen. Now the free fluid is also seen in the lower abdominal cavity as well as in the upper abdominal cavity. Ovarian calcifications are considered dystrophic, impaired metabolism, elevates the pH and in, induces intracellular participation of calcium salts within the epithelial cells or histiocytes. Now you can see the ureter is not showing much ido ureter. No stone is seen in the ureter and the endonephrosis process of the right kidney is due to the compression caused by the right ovarian mass. Rate of malignancy in a study was 40% of cases with a single cluster of microcalcifications, 50% of those with multiple cluster, and 60% for those with dispersed microcalcifications. 
Now the ovarian cancer grows quickly and can progress from early to advanced stages within a year. Paying attention to symptoms can help improve a woman's chances of being diagnosed and treated promptly. Detecting cancer while it is still in the earliest stages may help to improve the prognosis. Metastatic ovarian cancer is an advanced stage malignancy that has spread from cells in the ovaries to distant area of the body. This type of cancer is most likely to spread to the liver, the fluid around the lungs and spleen, intestine and brain, skin or lymph nodes outside of the abdomen. Again, you can see the ovarian mass and free fluid is seen around this mass in the lower abdominal cavity. Epithelial ovarian cancer presents as a wide variety of vague and non-specific symptoms including bloating, abdominal distension or discomfort, pressure effects of the bladder, pressure effects on the bladder and rectum as in this case on the right ureter, constipation, vaginal bleeding, ingestion and acid reflux, shortness of breath, tiredness, weight loss and early stati. This is gallbladder. Now, again you can see the liver and free fluid is seen along the hilum of the liver as well as in the Morrison's pouch. Many imaging tests like ultrasound or MRI can determine if an ovarian cyst or tumor is benign or malignant to confirm or rule out ovarian cancer, doctors may perform a biopsy. This will, they will collect a sample of the cyst or tumor for analysis under the microscope. This will help them to determine if it is cancerous. But in rare cases, ovarian tumors can grow much larger. When it comes to ovarian cancer, size doesn't necessarily matter. Smaller tumors are just as likely to be malignant. Unfortunately, symptoms of ovarian cancer are vague, causing women to delay seeking care. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.